Welcome back to the Second Hand Showcase, everybody. On this episode, we are featuring a gun that used to be very common, and now that uh, FN has stopped producing them, I've noticed they've gone up in value. What we have is a what we call a Browning High Power. I think officially FN calls this the uh, FN Model 1935. And so this particular example, according to the dealer, was made sometime between 1969 and 1975. It is a 9mm double stack. I uh, believe uh, it's maybe 13 rounds. I think you can get modern uh, high power uh, magazines that hold possibly more than 13 rounds, but I think these are the old style uh, mags and this comes with two of them. So uh, what I am told by the dealer, uh, if it's important to the collectors, uh, is this is made in Belgium, not, uh, not assembled in Portugal. Uh, it has uh, uh, fixed sights. Uh, the rear is drift adjustable. The uh, has no beaver tail on it, so it's the old style of, uh, of uh, uh, beaver tail. It's an older high power. Uh, this particular gun is single action only, so it uh, is not double action, single action. So it's uh, those of you who uh, are not familiar with these guns, these were designed by John Moses Browning, the same person who designed the 1911, and they function very similarly. And it, uh, uh, you can fire it cocked and locked, so uh, that would be pretty familiar to a modern 1911 guy. However, this particular gun has a few peccadillos compared to a, to a 1911. So uh, the first thing is that it has a uh, magazine disconnect. So if you were to, safety's off, try to fire without a magazine in it, it, uh, it kills the gun, disables the gun. The second thing is, this gun being European as well, the magazines do not drop free, so you have to strip them out. I believe later versions of this gun, they change that, but something to consider with, with this gun. So, I guess I should go ahead and take this opportunity to show this. Why is beaver tail so popular on 1911s? And why uh, do you see a lot of aftermarket uh, tricked out Browning High Powers have a beaver tail added to the uh, added to the gun? So I have large-ish type hands. I don't have the largest hands in the world, but you know they're definitely on the larger end of the spectrum. And so in a modern shooting method, if you were to grab high on the pistol, you can see even on this example that when the gun goes through the cycle process, it would probably cut my hand or pinch the skin on my hand. And you know, a few shots here and there wouldn't make that much of a difference, but a full range a day of shooting this gun, you know, hundreds and hundreds of rounds, I would probably have a bloody cut in the uh, web of my hand. And so, you know, that becomes kind of a, kind of a, a drag for someone who likes to shoot a lot. So uh, you'll see uh, a lot of these older guns, they'll be modified or upgraded to have uh, have a, a beaver tail put on there. However, this particular example is so cherry, and considering this, the current state of the high power market, I think it would be a shame to upgrade this gun, uh, do that to a beater gun. This one's way too nice to qualify for that. This particular example also comes with an actual browning leather case that is, uh, it's got some kind of, I don't know if that's a cotton or fur lining in it. And as, uh, as I said earlier, a, uh, a second magazine. This gun, I would guess, has probably sat most of its life in somebody's collection. It is not what I would call 100% mint, but it has been fired very little, and you can tell it's just been a representative gun in uh, somebody's collection. So if uh, you were looking to get into a true Belgian high power as opposed to a copy, uh, this might be something you, you would want to consider. So if you want to know more about this gun, uh, go to our website, john1911.com. That's J-O-H-N-1911.com. There'll be a link to talk to the dealer in the description below, or you can contact him directly at Shooter Supply in Loveland, Ohio. And uh, remember, it's all about shooting guns and having fun. Everybody, have a good day.